Hello everybody, it's me, your host with the most love for all of you, Kendrick or Kendo, whichever you prefer, and the creator of Tales Yet Told. Wow, can you believe it's already been two weeks since the finale of Voices in the Wood? It feels just like yesterday. I was spending time in the live premieres, listening to cool new music, and crying to stories with uh, many of you. But alas, time's arrow marches onward, and so must we. So, with the end of Voices in the Wood, you all must be wondering, what's next for Tales Yet Told? And the answer to that is simple. The long, long process of producing a full season of our show. Assuming it all goes well, recording season two of Strangers in the Wood is going to take uh, six months minimum. And because I've learned my lesson from previous seasons, I want to make sure that we're fully recorded before we start releasing anything. Having to delay the release of an episode or have a bunch of small hiatuses in the middle of a season is a frustrating experience, both for you, the listener, and us as creators. So uh, we just want to make sure that we are doing it right because we care so much about the story we're telling and about the experience that you have as a listener. So uh, bear with us. It's going to take some time. Um, and, you know, because we have to take post-production in, into account, we're looking at maybe mid to late 2025 for season two, which is a, uh, yeah, it's a long way. Uh, but I do have two things for you right now. First thing, I promised that I would do something with all those emails that everyone sent for the finale of Voices in the Wood, and I did, uh, but it's a rather small part. It's more textured to the world than anything else. So uh, at the end of this update, I'm going to uh, play it for all of you. You all will be able to hear every single voicemail we got. Uh, so yeah, look forward to that. Uh, the second thing I have for you before we get to those voicemails are the updates about the future of Tales Yet Told. In between now and, you know, season two for Strangers in the Wood, I have some new things planned. Uh, we are currently figuring out scheduling the Voices in the Wood live talkbacks where you'll be able to ask questions to the cast and crew of the show. Uh, and we can, and we're going to talk a little bit about how this sausage got made, you know, uh, it's a lot went into making it. And I'm sure some of you have questions. And I also just want to talk to other people, you know, talk to the cast about their experience and being in it and how they feel about it now that it's done. So whatever thoughts you've got in that brain of yours that are related to 2048 AM voices in the wood, we will answer. Uh, to prepare for that, I've made a Google form so you can send in your questions and we can have those ready for the live streams, which you will be able to find over at twitch.tv forward slash kendo makes films. We'll update you with the dates for the talkbacks over on our social media at Tales Yet Told and on our blog, which you can find at talesyettold.com forward slash blog. And you can find the link to the form, the Twitch and the blog in the description for this episode. In addition, as I mentioned during the finale live stream, we are going to start doing reruns of our previous seasons live on Twitch. And we're starting off with the OG, the show that led us to this very moment, Strangers in the Wood Season 1. I think this will be a good chance for some of our newer audience who have never listened to our previous work before, catch up, and for those who've already listened to it, to re-experience the story that built the sublime, and if you listen to Voices in the Wood already and want to learn more about the world that it takes place in and or maybe want a little context for the finale, then I believe this series of free runs will be a great place to get all of that and have some fun with other people while you listen. And hell, I'm excited to re-listen so I can be in the right headspace for producing season two. So it all just kind of uh, works out that way. Now, for more new actual play content, I'm starting the process of putting together another mini-series taking place in the Sublime to help set the stage for season two of Strangers in the Wood. This new series will be a set of five one-shots, each playing a different TTRPG, and each exploring some new perspectives on the events taking place in the Sublime. And uh, also, I'm going to use it to start planting some seeds that will hopefully grow into juicy narrative fruit of some kind. It'll be delicious, I'm sure. I don't have any specific dates about when this mini-series will come out, but you can look at the social media and the blog to stay updated. 
Lastly, we are in the process of structuring a future Patreon, Kofi, or something else of the like. Uh, we want to be able to give you all the chance to help support us in making the show, while also giving you a little insider information, some bonus content, and whatever else we can think of. It's going to take a while for us to figure that out, but the plan is to have it out and ready by the end of 2024. Now, exactly what shape it'll take, not sure yet, but we will let you know over on our social media and our blog once it's ready. And that is all I can say for now, because that's all the information I have. So thank you so much for bearing with us as we begin this very arduous process of trying to make our shows sustainable and be able to bring you more amazing stories like Voices in the Wood. Speaking of which, I promised you all some voicemails. So here are those Voices in the Wood, and I'll see you next time. You have reached 2048 AM, Voices in the Wood, with Lil Harry, and that's me, Lil Harry. I'm sorry I can't take your call right now, we aren't actually live. So if you will leave a message at the tone, I can be sure to try to play the song that you were hoping to listen to. And if you've got a message for me, well, feel free to leave that too. Hope to hear you in the wood. Lil Harry and the Wolf Pack, out. Hi, Lil Harry, this is Amy. Um, I just wanted to say I really, really enjoyed this show. Um, I didn't even know that our school like had a radio station, but I just wanted to say thank you so much for uh, everything you do, and I hope that this program uh, runs long, long, long after you're gone too. Um, it's a it's a very cool legacy, and I really hope that um, the voices in the woods are able to be heard long term. Um, thanks. Happy birthday, Jasper! Whoever the fuck you are. Um, the only things that I gotta say from, uh, Alpha Wolf is drink and drive, and that's it. Uh, play me a cupcake song, it's definitely from the 80s. No, Harry, I don't have a lot of time to say this, so please listen closely. Some people are going to want to blame you for what's happening to them, or to the people that they love to their neighbors. They're going to want to blame you for asking questions, for having conversations, for making people think. I just want you to know that that's not your fault. You're not doing a bad thing, Harry. They want to blame you, but you are not to blame. And I think deep down, you know who is to blame. Deep down, I think we all do. Keep going, Harry. Keep going. Hey, this is, uh, this is Amaranth. Um, <laughs> hi, little Harry. Um, sorry, I, I don't know, that was a really weird way to open up the message, but, um, I, I just wanted to see if I could call in because, um, I don't know, it feels like I'm drowning. Uh, that doesn't matter. Um, maybe maybe the next time you guys uh, play some music, I'd love to hear Linoleum, Linoleum Floors by Ghostlight Tea again. Uh, helps me keep my head above water. Thank you. Bye. Hey, Lil Harry, this is Halen. Um, I was going to call in and request, uh, well, for one, I wanted to say, you know, thank you for the show. Um, it's been great, and I've been hearing a ton of new music. Um, and I've really taken to Ghost Light G. So pretty much anything – oh, cat says hi. Um, <laughs> uh, pretty much anything by them would be great. Uh, and also, I was wondering, uh, you've talked about being in a band before. Um, and uh, forgive me if you've, if you've said what you did in that band, uh, but I was wondering what, like, what you played or, you know, your position or whatever. You strike me as a rhythm person, but I don't know. Anyway, love the show. Uh, have a good night. Hi, little Harry. My name is Ashley, and I am calling from outside the wood. And I just wanted to call in and say how much listening to stories from the sublime is meant to me. 
uh, especially as someone who seems intent on bucking the system no matter what they do or where they go and doesn't fit into the role that people think I should have. And I really hope to keep hearing stories from the sublime because they have just made a huge difference for me. And I don't know if you'll have it or not, but I would really like to hear Silver Spring by Fleetwood Mac. Uh, thank you. Goodbye. Hey, this is Fitz. I was hoping to hear Highway to Hell by ACDC, and I really appreciate everything you're doing. Young Cub, is this on? I I realized that when I called you in the station, I forgot to tell you one very, very important thing. Young one, listen clearly now, because Granny Maya is only going to say this. I've only got time to say this one time. You must be brave. You must be brave to tell your own story. Good luck. Uh, good morning. Uh, is this, uh, I hope I've reached, uh, Kelsey's mother, um, Miss LeVere, um, uh, the library book that you borrowed a couple of weeks ago, uh, Make Way for Ducklings, um, it, it was due yesterday, um, uh, so this is just my call to ask you to, uh, bring that back as soon as you can. There are many other uh, little kids who would like to read that one. Um, but um, I, I also wanted to call to let you know that I will not be uh, uh, charging you a, a late fee. Uh, I know that um, you've been going through a lot, so uh, don't worry. Just, just bring the book back as soon as you can. Thank you. Um, also, uh, Voices in the Wood, that, that's a very good show, isn't it? Um, I, I I I like listening to the music. Uh, um, anyways, the book, yes. Bring that back as soon as you can. Thank you. Hey, little Harry. Uh, so so glad I got through. Um, I could really use your help. So, I am currently in the closet. My closet. I mean, someone broke into my house while I was home and I am actively hiding from them. I think it's actually a few people. I hear like a lot of footsteps, but I also hear this weird dragging noise wherever they go. Anyway, could you play a song for me? Voices in the Wood and your music have always really inspired me, and frankly, I am frozen in terror right now. So if you could spin me up something to either fight or run to, I'll just base what I do on what you play. Sooner the better, obviously, but I understand you have a lot of tunes to get through. Anyway, taking taking your answer off the air and putting my life in your hands. Keep on keeping on, man. Oh, man, it's so cool I got through. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Uh, it has occurred to me that I, I uh, dialed the wrong number about about the book. Um, sorry. Uh, th- this is Eve. I called into the show a, 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 a bit ago. A- anyways, I, I apologize. I am going to go call the right number now. Um, have a nice day, Harry. Um, hope to see you at the library soon. Goodbye. Yo, Harry, it's your boy Pedro here. Just wanted to drop by and tell you, damn, I love your show. Y'all keep me buzzing on my delivery routes all day long. I gotta say, though, some people gotta stop being so sad all the time. Stop being scared of everything. Live the party life sometime. It's all good. Yeah, so sometimes shit happens, but it's fine, right? I messed up once and partook in some package, and the stranger set me straight. Now I got more legs than anyone, and I'm like twice as fast as any other delivery person in the Sublime. The stranger, right? Stranger's just looking out for us. Anyway, keep it real and keep it cool, y'all. I gotta go feed the tentacle, but um, can you play that uh song? Um, I can never remember them. You know, just play something fast, alright? I-, I like the fast ones. Pedro, out! Hey, little Harry, Reggie, Donnie, Maggie, uh, the 
wolf pack. <laughs> a long time listener, first time call. I'm sure I need no introduction. It's a fun little show you got here, Harry. You are one hell of a host. Charming, personable, vulnerable. People can relate to you. And that's what makes you and your father so good at entertaining. You're a lot like him, you know. Let's just hope you don't have the same rebellion streak. <laughs> but even he came back to me eventually. Everyone does. Though I am interested in how the four of you managed to get your hands on music from the outside world. No need to answer, of course. The answer will find its way to me eventually. Everything always does. <laughs> I do have a song request. It doesn't have a name, but I can't seem to get it out of my head. I doubt it's in your little archive, so uh, if you don't mind, I think I'll just play it myself. Until first we meet, Harrison. 